Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Tiger Pit. That's right. I forgot to do a Thankful Thursday this week. Um, I got some stickers from Nice Slice. Pete, our brother in British Columbia, he sent me an awesome bead. Really killer bead. Thank you, Pete. And I also got uh, a bunch of stickers from 865 Knives, Aaron in Tennessee. Thank you very much, brother. Greatly appreciated. Just had to throw that in there. So a few weeks ago, I did an unboxing of this Buck 112 Custom. A lot of people were kind of mm, a little miffed that it took me so long to pull the knife out and show the blade and everything. It's like, you know what? You can fast forward. I do it all the time. Maybe they're trolls. I don't know. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Apparently a lot did. I think it has over 7,500 views. My most viewed video ever. I want to do a general overview. Kind of a review of this knife. Buck 112. From the custom shop. And that whole video, I never even mentioned the blade steel. I didn't really want to talk the price and everything. But I'm going to get into that here. So... These are not covers. The covers are the brass because the, the bolster and the liners are all one piece. So it, I've heard these referred to as the covers. And these are the inlays. So brass covers, oak inlays. You can see the covers are all one piece. Now, I used to just call these bolsters and liners. And that's what they're called if they're separate. But if it's all one piece, it's, it's, it's the cover. So these inlays are the oak, and you can kind of see there's gray in there. It's pretty plain. Nothing too special about it. I mean, it does have a lot of character in the back here. And it almost looks like an old piece of oak that's just been sitting out in the yard for a while. Maybe they went out back and grabbed it and cut its shape and honed it down. And bam, there you go. There's your custom knife. Yee -hee. I hope that's how it went down. Because, because oak, you know, it can be plentiful in certain places. Um, oak was used as frames and wood boats. They used white oak. There's plenty of other oak they use for frames. And um, I don't know if it had to do with... I don't think it was rot resistance. I just think it was strength. Because oak can rot if you don't take care of it. That's for sure. I grew up in Northern California. My father has a lot of oak trees on his property. And that's all we ever knew. It was oak, 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 and a few pine trees. So I went with this because I... I, I wanted the brown and the match the sheath and the oak trees from my childhood. Um, I wanted blue bone. I wanted, I wanted elk. I wanted, you know, all of them. Uh, what's the other one? Maple? No, it's not maple. Ah, I can't remember. They have a lot of covers. Desert ironwood. Palmwood. So, to get into it, this is a basic 112. It is four and a quarter inches closed with a blade length of three inches with a cutting length 2.75 inches. So, I went with the normal 420 Boss Heat Treated Carbon Steel, which is what... My hands are getting too close to the camera. Um, they stamp the tang on those, which is very cool. Because you get um, S30V or S35V, and you don't get a stamp. You get kind of a laser engraving etch. Um, I went with the 420 high carbon steel because uh, it is easy to sharpen. 
and they do a really good job on their 420. And I know it's kind of sacrilege. You order a custom knife from the custom knife shop, pay the $25, get S30V. But not everybody really wants that. And I have S30V. I have a buck 110 and S30V. I have my 112 Slim Pro and S30V, and it is actually fantastic. But every time I've used 420 High Carbon Boss Heat Treated, it's been fantastic also. And I, I did get a few comments on Instagram, like, you know, go with the 420. You can actually sharpen it yourself. And, and I, I don't think I'd have a hard time sharpening S30V, except I don't have any really good diamond stones. And so until I get those... Anyways, I've also watched videos of people sharpening this on river rock stones. Like if you're hard up to sharpen your knife, you can grab a, a smooth, flat river rock stone and you can actually sharpen your knife, which is kind of cool. A good, simple, original style, easy to sharpen knife. That's why I went with it. I know it's only $25 more. So the story goes. They were offering 10% off on their website, and I had something in my cart for the longest time, and it was during Christmas, and and I just didn't do anything, because, you know, I know they're busy during Christmas, and then they offered me 20% off, and then they offered me free shipping, and they do free shipping if you pay over $100, but if it's under $100, you pay shipping, and so... I started to build this and I, I went with finger grooves. I went with a blue wood S 30 V and I just, I, you know, I went with the elk out of $200 knife, which I should have probably done because they were offering 20% off. I would have gotten a fantastic deal. Um, I was going to go with nickel silver bolsters, but I just, you know, I explained this in my unboxing. I went with the brass, went with the 420 and the basic Oak. This was no additional charge, the suede brown sheath. So all in all, out the door, they charge tax, $83. Now, if you get a normal buck 112, they're about $65. And if you add tax up here, I think that'd put it at about $72. So this is literally $11 more than just a normal off the shelf buck 112 with the black sheath. I got the oak. I did the pin delete, which I do like the pins, but every buck I get off the shelf has pins, so I figured I have a chance I would do it. These are $25 on copper and clad. They threw this in for free. Screaming deal. So, like I said, do a little comparison here. 112 Slim Pro G10 very slim pocket clip. You can see the difference here. This feels way better in the hand, but it is way heavier. This is a nice light pocket carry you can carry in your shorts. You got the pocket clip. You got these big fat thumb studs. I'm not sure why they're so big. Because on the Slim Select. They're, they're just smaller. They should have went with these smaller thumb studs. But anyways, we're not talking about these. This is 420. I just wanted to show my 112s here. I haven't even stropped this, and it's still super sharp. Now, I, I will put a strop on it. But uh, I've been really impressed with the 420. I like S30. I'm sure I'll get S35. Eventually, I'll get the Magna Cut. I should have got the... 112 drops that they recently did. Those were a screaming deal. It was more than I've ever spent on a knife and out of my price range. So I did not get it. And, and now I'm kicking myself because I only made like 750 of each. I probably would have got the 110 drop because I'm a, more of a 110 fan. So literally $11 more than a normal 112 shipped from the custom shop with a certificate certificate stating it's from the custom shop 
It's authenticity. You can already see the brass is getting some teeners. It teeners up fast. I will get a nickel silver. I think this brass really goes well with the oak wood, and that's why I went with it. I think the nickel silver goes better with the ebony in darker colors. I've actually carried this to work. It's been awesome. It is a great size. So since we're here, let's just pull out a 110, 120th anniversary edition to show you a little size difference. Like I said, I'm more of a 110 fan. But I, I can't, you know, it's, how do you pick a better knife? They all are a compromise. Some are better than others in certain situations. They're all good. I love the 110. It just fits my hand perfect. It's a bigger knife. I have big hands. It just feels perfect. Now, it doesn't have this in the front to keep your hand from sliding down on the blade. I have not had an issue with it. That is kind of nice. This does feel really good in the hand. This is a good everyday carry EDC. They're both heavy. It doesn't matter. I love them both. I'm not picking a favorite, but I do lean toward the 110. Don't take my word for it. You guys pick up these knives and you figure out which one's best for you. So like I said, I really appreciate their stamping the tang, and I think I believe that's because it's 420. Boss heat treated, high carbon steel. Well, besides that, it came extremely clean and smooth from the factory. I'm guessing that's because it's from the custom shop. They run it into a shower when they're done and they hose out all the grime. I wish they would do that with all their knives. I've gotten a few that have been grimy and I spent about 45 minutes cleaning them out. Not a big deal. But when you pay $100 for a knife, you want it clean. And luckily I got this for $83. Thank you very much, Buck. I will be buying more customs and I'll probably end up with elk and magnet cut and nickel silver bolsters. Have a fantastic day. Stay sharp, be kind, and take chances.